If you don't believe in miracles, you cannot be an atheist. There are six key miracles that our atheist brothers and sisters believe that they themselves cannot explain. First is the miracle that existence comes from non-existence. We see this in the faith of the Big Bang. This is a belief that all mass, the entire universe, came from a tiny speck and exploded to fill the universe. But there's no explanation for that speck's origination. But the miracles keep getting even more impressive. You gotta catch this. The second miracle is that order comes from chaos or disorder, right? How did the Big Bang create the order we see in the universe today? What explosion have you ever seen that created nice, neat, organized pile of rubble called buildings? The same laws of physics that govern today would have actually had to govern the Big Bang as well. The third miracle, that's that life actually comes from non-life. In all of the efforts and the scientific experiments, there has never been a successful conversion of life coming from the combination of non-living materials. But even if they could, there's a huge difference between life and consciousness. And that actually brings us to the fourth miracle, which gets even more incredible. It's that the personal actually comes from the non-personal. There is no explanation, no thorough explanation anyways, of how any organism knows anything, how it knows how to function, reproduce, defend itself, relate to other organisms, or even heal itself. The fifth miracle is that reason actually comes from non-reason. We discussed knowledge in the last point, but reason is now taking knowledge and applying it to understand the purpose, the repercussions of that knowledge. How does that even happen without a God who gave all life some sort of understanding? But this last one is the greatest atheistic miracle. The sixth is that morality comes from matter. Somehow a bunch of stuff that came to life somehow just figured out how to come to an agreement that killing or stealing or other bad things are immoral. And this whole list of other moral rules determining good and bad, how does that actually all happen? And while not all laws are universal to all people groups, there is still a commonality between them. And when they aren't followed, there are repercussions for them. If you don't believe that you're an accident and you do believe that God is an incredibly loving creator, write I love God in the comments and subscribe for more soul nourishing content like this.